it is actually very easy to turn off the fission reaction. When the reactors at Fukushima Daiichi, there were seismic sensors in the plant that noticed the earthquake before any human being ever noticed it. And they noticed that it was out of their tolerance or their bounds that they'd been set to. And so before anybody did anything, the computers started shutting down the reactors. The workers stayed calm because they knew Japanese power plants are designed to withstand earthquakes. The reactors automatically shut down within seconds but nuclear fuel rods generate intense heat even after a shutdown. So backup generators kicked in to power the cooling systems and stop the fuel rods from melting. So when you turn a reactor off, fission stops, but you have this decay heat. You have to manage that decay heat. The tsunami hit about an hour after the reactors were shut down. So fission was long gone by the time the tsunami came along, but the reactors were still managing decay heat that decay heat continued to build. Heat was not being removed from the reactor. And why weren't they using the power from the reactor to run the pumps? Because the reactor had been turned off. The reactor was turned off immediately when the seismic sensors sensed the quake. So there was no reactor generated power. In light water reactors, if you allow fuel to be uncovered and you allow it to heat up, the zirconium cladding will react with steam to Good. form hydrogen. As the fuel overheats to temperatures where it begins to lose its physical integrity and have localized melting, in the chemical conditions that you have with water, highly oxidized conditions, cesium and iodine are very volatile and they, they evaporate out, form small, condense a small particles, Aerosols. and you have intrinsically high pressure. And so you therefore have physical mechanisms. A dispersion get, term. Yeah, that can mobilize cesium and iodine. Now we design the reactors to make that very unlikely yeah. uh, through a combination of highly reliable cooling systems. Passive systems are better than active, as we learned at Fukushima. But the physical mechanism remains. The physical mechanism remains. Whereas in a salt reactor. In a salt reactor, cesium, there's nothing that cesium loves more than fluorine and it will it will it will compete with anything else to grab a hold the fluorine and cesium fluoride is very very low volatility and very high solubility in salt so no aerosols